student we learn about the last topic in that chapter energy stored in a capacitor energy stored in a capacitor when during the process of charging charging a capacitor when electron transferred from one plate to another plate electrons are transferred from one plate to another plate during the motion of electrons work is done during the motion of electrons work is done therefore the intermediate stage in between the charging of the capacitor the charge is v is equal to q upon c that formula is referred v is equal to q upon c but intermediate charge complete charging is not charging is not completed here but intermediate stage of the charging therefore that charge is considered as q dash c is v is equal to q dash upon c during the process of charging the one the electrons are transferred from one plate to another plate during the motion of charges work is done and that work is electrostatic energy work is stored is in the form of energy that opposes the opposing the force is the electrostatic energy therefore dw is equal to formula for v is equal to work done to bring about a unit positive charge from infinity to a given present location means v is equal to w upon q therefore v is equal to w upon q means w is equal to v into q but charging process is not completed therefore small work is done to bring about a unit positive charge means dw is equal to v into that charge is q but small work is done kept therefore that charge is considered as dq dw is equal to v into dq now integrating on both side therefore integration of dw is equal to integration of v dq but v is equal to q dash upon c means integration from q dq upon c therefore work is stored is in the form of energy means w is equal to total work done is 1 upon c is the common factor constant factor therefore integration from q dq q dq their integration is integration of x raised to n into dx is equal to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 means q raised to 1 1 plus 1 is 2 means q square upon 2 therefore but integration limits from charging up to q is equal to 0 to, to q is equal to capital q total charging is kept when the total charging is charging process is completed q is equal to 0 to, to q is equal to capital q therefore work is equal to total work is equal to q square means substitute the value of q in capital q q square upon 2 into c means half q is equal to now substitute again q is equal to c into v therefore c v bracket square upon c but half c square v square upon c means one c c get cancel therefore half c v square means w is equal to half c v square but work is done work is stored is in the form of energy is denoted by e is equal to half c v square where c is the capacitance of the capacitor v is the potential difference and e is the energy stored in a capacitor c e is equal to half c v square 
in terms of q e is equal to in terms of q q square upon 2c q square upon 2c therefore e is equal to q square upon 2c or e is equal to half c v square or whenever electric charge is given and potential is given means e is equal to half cv is equal to cv is equal to q means cv into v cv is denoted by q means half q into v half q v or e is equal to q square upon 2c or energy stored in a capacitor e is equal to half cv square न्यूमेरिकल मध्य तुम्हारा ज्यादा वैल्यूज दिल्ली तुम्हारा फॉर्म्यूला यूज कराए एनर्जी स्टोर इन अ कैपैसिटर ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ चार्जिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड फ्रॉम वन प्लेट टू अनादर प्लेट ड्यू टू द मोशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सम वर्क इज डन एंड वर्क इज इक्वल टू व्ही इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू अपॉन क्यू बाय यूजिंग डेफिनेशन ऑफ पोटेंशियल इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल व्ही इज इक्वल टू डब्ल्यू अपॉन क्यू मीन्स डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू व्ही इन टू that formula is used therefore dw is equal to v into this the charging process is not completed therefore small charge is kept means v into dq integrating on both side therefore we get the expression energy stored in a capacitor e is equal to half cv square or energy e is equal to q square upon 2c or half qv that formula for energy stored in a capacitor